Hello, this is chapter 51 about um, preparation for NSE exam. Fortinet. And let's talk today about firewall policies. So first we will find out what are firewall policies, how to configure firewall policies, how to manage firewall policies, and then best practices and troubleshooting firewall policies. So what is a policy? A policy is a set of instructions that controls traffic flow through the FOTI gate. And these instructions determine where the traffic goes, how it's handled, and whether it's allowed to pass through the FOTI gate. In summary, FOTI uh, gate firewall policies are sets of rules that specify which traffic is allowed through, through FortiGate and what should do FortiGate with this traffic when the traffic profile matches policy. Should it be allowed or should it be denied? FortiGate bases this decision on simple criteria. FortiGate analyzes the source of the traffic and the destination IP address and the service. If the policy does not block the traffic, FortiGate begins more expensive security um, inspection, like computationally expensive uh, inspection. It's often known as UTM inspection. UTM stands for Unified Threat Management. What is Unified Threat Management? Antivirus, application control, and web filtering. And these inspections block the traffic if there is a security risk. For example, traffic contains a virus. Will the network address uh, translation be applied? What type of authentication is required? Firewall policies determine answers to these questions. After processing is finished, FortiGate forwards the packet toward its destination. FortiGate looks for the matching firewall policy from top to bottom. And usually at the bottom, there is implicit deny. And when it's matching, uh, if match is found, the traffic is processed based on this firewall policy. If no match is found, the traffic is dropped by the implicit deny firewall policy. Each policy matches traffic and applies security by referring to the objects that we've denied, such as addresses and profiles. Common policy types are firewall policy. Firewall policy is a firewall policy consists of set of rules that control traffic flow through FortiGate. There is also firewall virtual wire policy. A virtual wire policy is used to control the traffic between its interfaces in a virtual wire pair. Third type is proxy policy, fourth multicast policy, five local in local in policy, uh, six DOS denial of service policy and traffic shaping policy. These are common policy types. Uh, what is uh, multicast policy? Multicast policy allows multicast packets to pass from one interface to another. Local in policy is a local in policy controls the traffic 
to FOTI gate interface and it can be used to restrict administrative access. Denial of service policy checks for the out anomalous patterns in network traffic that arrives at FOTI gate interface. By default, only firewall policy is visible under policy and object. Other policies are available based on interface configuration and advanced features through feature visibility. Each policy has match criteria, which could be defined using the following options. First, source. Second, destination for services. When a packet arrives, how does FortiGate find a matching policy? Based on this criteria, incoming interface, outgoing interface, source, such as IP address, user or internet services, destination, IP address or internet services, service, IP protocol and port number, schedule, specific times to apply policy. If the traffic matches firewall policy, FortiGate applies an action configured in the firewall policy. If the action is set to deny, FortiGate drops the session. If action is set to accept, FortiGate allows the session that applies other configured settings for packet processing, such as authentication, source net, antivirus scanning, web filtering, and so on. When FortiGate receives the traffic, FortiGate evaluates the packet source IP address, destination IP address, and the requested service. Requested service parameters are protocol and port number. FortiGate also checks the incoming interface and the outgoing interface it needs to use. Based on this information, FortiGate identifies the firewall policy and evaluates the traffic. If the traffic matches the policy, then FortiGate applies the action, such as accept or deny, defined in the policy. For example, to block incoming FTP traffic to all but a few FTP servers, define addresses of the FTP servers as the destination. As we know, FTP is file transfer protocol and we select FTP as a service and we probably would not specify in this case a source. Often for FTP sources any location on the internet is allowed or schedule. Uh, we also don't specify schedule such as FTP servers are usually always available any time of the day, on, day or night. So we probably wouldn't specify a source or a schedule. And finally, the action setting is set to accept. Next, simplify interfaces and zones. To begin describing, how FortiGate finds the policy for each packet, let's start with the interfaces. Packets arrive on an incoming interface, which is called ingress interface. Routing determines the outgoing or egress interface. In each firewall policy, we must set a source and destination interface. 
in each policy we must this, uh, this specify it even one or both are set to any. Both interfaces must match the policy's interface criteria in order to be a successful match. For example, if we configure policies between port 3, LAN ingress, inbound traffic, and port 1, WAN, WAN, uh, wide area network egress interface, and the packet arrives on port 2. Then the packet will not match your policies and so it would be dropped because of the implicit deny policy at the end of the list. And even if the policy is from port 3, local area interface, ingress, to any in egress, the packet would still be dropped because it did not match the incoming interface. To simplify policy configuration, we can group interfaces into logical zones. For example, we can group port 4 to port 7 as DMZ, demilitarized zone. We can create zones on the interfaces page. However, we should note that if we cannot reference any interface in a zone individually and if we need to add interface to the zone, we must remove all interfaces. We must remove all references to those interfaces. Uh, for example, firewall policies, firewall addresses, and so on. So, if we think that we might need to reference interfaces individually, then we should set multiple source and destination interfaces in firewall policy instead of using zones. Thank you. See you in our next uh, chapter about selecting multiple interfaces or any interface. Thank you.